Hey guys, welcome back. I am finally getting around to doing another brew. Um, starting to run out of beer, so I thought I'd better uh, pull my finger out and get something else on the go. Uh, so today I'm brewing up a Saison. Um, it's been a very long time since I've done a Saison and I've only ever done a Saison with dry yeast. Um, but today I'm going to be using uh, some liquid yeast. So a couple of videos back um, I was sent some beers by Dan and he also sent me some liquid yeast files and one of them was the uh, Saison Parfait which was uh, the which he used in the Saison that I tasted. Um, so really looking forward to using this. So I've been building up a yeast starter over the last couple of days so I'll be using that in this brew. Um, so I've got the mash underway so I'm mashing at 65 degrees uh, so quite low just so I can get a nice dry finish on the beer. Um, the malt bill very quickly is 60% sorry no 80% Pilsner, 10% Vienna, 10% wheat uh, as I mentioned the Saison Parfait yeast and then um, I wanted to obviously go for like a traditional sort of noble hop but I thought I'd give it a New Zealand twist so uh, Lock 2 is uh, sort of classed or considered a New Zealand noble hop um, but it has, also has some nice sort of um, uh, floral and lime characters so I thought that would go really well um, in the Saison so yeah that's what I'll be I'll be hopping with the old Wakatu there, uh, which I haven't used for quite a while either. Um, so yeah, that's um, basically what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, mashing at the moment. Um, so we'll, we'll let the mash finish and then we will come back and I'll just do a couple of clips. Um, probably show you me pitching the uh, liquid yeast at some point and then we'll, yeah, we'll do a wrap up. So um, yeah, let's crack on. Cheers guys. Okay, so we're 15 minutes from the end of the boil, so we're going to might as well put in the Wurflock now and we'll put in our bittering addition of the Wakatu. So this is, uh, it's only a small batch, so it's only 20 grams. So that'll give me my bittering uh, around targeting 20 IBU, so we'll let that do its thing. Okay, so I've finished the boil and I've cooled the wort down to just under 80 degrees so we're going to put in the rest of the wok to just do a 15 minute hop stand I'll carry on and do that and I'll be back okay so we've finished the hop stand and I'm just transferring the wort through the hop spider into the fermenter so we'll finish that off um, I'm probably going to have to cool the work down quite a bit further before I can pitch the yeast so we'll come back for that. Okay so it's time to pitch my yeast starter. So we'll uh, take the foil off and pull the lid off. There we go, hopefully lots of good yeast in there to get things started. So we'll close the lid and uh, yeah, let us do its thing. Gonna... So just a quick wrap up of the brew day. As you can see the liquid yeast starter has kicked off nicely and it's doing its thing. And I swapped the airlock for a blow off tube, I just thought I'd do that to be on the safe side. Um, yeah, it started um, fermenting really quick when I got up first thing this morning it was bubbling away nicely so probably, you know, well that was 12 hours later so uh, yeah that's a good sign. So as far as the brew day that went well, the starting gravity came out at 1049 and I think this yeast will get down to at least sort of 1005 in that range so that will give me a sort of 5.5% beer I think. Uh, so everything else went well, so yeah, we'll ferment this at 23 degrees until it's finished Keg it up and then in a few weeks I'll do a tasting video So thanks for watching. Hope the rest of your week goes well and 
yeah we'll catch you in the next video cheers guys